In today's video, we will learn how to create thumbnails in Figma. We will start without wasting any time. To create a thumbnail, you need a background and PNG files of the elements that you will use in your design. Now, let's begin the design process. To create a thumbnail, first open your Figma software and select a frame, and write the width as 1280 and the height as 720. This is the thumbnail size. If you are not familiar with Figma, I have created a complete guide which you can check out by clicking on the link in the description. After creating the frame, create a rectangle inside it and click on the image option. Then, select the image you want as your background. If you want a red effect, create another rectangle inside the frame and set the opacity at 40%. Choose the gradient and give it the desired effect. Next, add your PNG file inside the frame and adjust it accordingly. After that, do some color grading of the picture. To create the glow effect, create a circle and click on the effect option. Then, select layer blur and adjust it according to your preference. Put this circle behind the image and add some gradient effect. To create light on the face, create a circle and select white color. Give it an effect from the effect settings and adjust it on the face. If you want to add text, Simply write what you want. For example, I am going to write Squad Victory. First, write Squad. And give it a red color from the color box. Also, give it a stroke. Adjust it to your design. Next, duplicate it by holding ALT from the keyboard and write Victory. Select white color and adjust the text. Add Drop Shadow by going to the effect and selecting Drop Shadow. Adjust the settings as desired. If you want to add a skull icon, adjust it behind the text. Write your name or channel name where you want and adjust it. Finally, Make any adjustments as needed, and your thumbnail is ready. Here's a guide on how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube channel using Figma. If you're interested in learning more about Figma, I have already created a complete guide which you can watch. I will provide a link to it in the description. For more Figma tutorials, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.